Good. When you're plucking your angora rabbit, you have to gently pull the longer fibers away from the shorter coat that's under. You can see here there's the tips of the shorter coat that's growing in underneath. And you just gently tug until it pulls out. And then you get a nice staple length for spinning the fiber arc. A lot of times there's shorter fibers along the side and the nice long staples are on the back. Now when you're plucking a rabbit, you have to expect that you're going to have a lot of hair flying all over the place. You can see here this part's already done. You can see the difference of where there's still the seconds and where the nice fibers were pulled. There's still a few left in here. And the nice thing about plucking a rabbit instead of clipping him is that your spinner, you get the tips of the fiber that you pulled and it makes it just a little bit easier to spin with. Whereas if you clip it, sometimes it can be a little bit slippy, it's slipperier if you haven't spun with it often and you don't really know how to spin Angora. And this is Thunder who's modeling for us today. And he actually appreciates it when we take all this extra hair off. Because if we don't, we end up with a big clumpy mess like this over here. And these are just some dreadlocks that he would eventually take off himself, except it hurts more when they get like this. So you actually are doing the rabbit a big favor by plucking him. And I usually do it about three to four times a year, but right now it's October and I definitely won't pluck him again this year because he'll need his nice warm coat for the winter. And we keep thunder outside in the winter because He's an Angora rabbit and in his natural habitat. He would be living outside in the winter. We just make sure that we have fresh water that's not frozen for him and make sure that he gets fed.